Hello, if you're just joining us, this is the World News Report on CRTV News. Now, Nigeria's government has vowed to rescue some 112 former schoolgirls believed to remain in Boko Haram captivity since they were kidnapped by the militants from the town of Chibok some seven years ago. Now, seven years down, the Chibok girls are still on our minds and uh, Kimberly Nwachuku now joins us on the program following a chat we had with her uh, via WhatsApp. Hello, Kimberly. Hundreds of students have been seized by uh, gangs of so-called bandits in uh, at least five separate incidents in the northern part of Nigeria since late last year. Now, with, this, uh, with, with more than 100 of the 279 girls still missing, what is the situation like in uh, Nigeria now and how is the government reacting? Well, the situation is one that calls for concern for everyone in the country, both citizens and the government at the moment. Like you mentioned, a number of abductions have taken place between Chibok in 2014 till date. As we speak, there are quite a number of students who are still in the hands of the abductors who were kidnapped from the College of Forestry and Mechanization in Kaduna State. The parents of the students are still crying to the government to help them negotiate with the bandits to see to the release of their children. So we've gone from the northeastern part of the country where we're dealing with Boko Haram to the northwestern part of Nigeria where we're dealing with insurgency, banditry, kidnapping that has gone that's increased in recent time and then in the southeastern part of Nigeria also concern as to what is happening uh, with the growing threat and attack on police stations, police formation and police personnel in that region of the country. Not forgetting also the criminal header situation we still are grappling with in the north central part of Nigeria. So yes, uh, it is grim and on the part of the government they will say they're doing all that they can. Service chiefs have been changed, they are open to new ideas to ensure that Nigeria is a lot safer and Nigerians are safer. You know that the primary responsibility of the government is the protection of lives and property and when that's being threatened, well that will definitely put any government on their toes at the moment. And we've seen some initiative well, Kimberly, some people believe that the uh, government's lack of action has actually affected parents' trust in uh, authorities. In authorities, is the government actually doing enough to end the abductions and uh, rescue the remaining girls that are still missing? Well, Mr. President, before his medical trip to London, did say that the Kankara abduction, right? I think it was the Kagara one, he said it was going to be the last and shortly after that we had the abduction of more students in Kaduna, the College of Forestry and Mechanization and that's enough uh, to scare people, to make Nigerians a little worried that the president would say that and then shortly after it's as if the bandits are daring him with another attack on another school facility. Uh, what has been done by the government in recent time to ensure that schools are safe? Well, that's the big question a lot of people are asking when it comes to safer school initiative and project. What's been put in place to ensure that in schools, day or boarding, that they are safe? Very little has been done, or almost nothing. Even in the state that has been worst hit by terrorism and the insurgents in the northeastern part of the country, schools are not any safer than they were when the Chibo girls were abducted in the first instance. So for us, there's plenty of talk and uh, Nigerians are waiting to see action back the talks by the government. Well, what about, uh, we, I'm, I'm quite inquisitive here, what about those who have been saved and are back with their families? Uh, how are they being integrated? Are there any psychosocial support that is being given to them? Um, the number of Chibok girls and those abducted who have been either rescued or escaped, there's been effort by government to cater for them. Uh, they've been getting some level of psychosocial support, isolated for a bit, and to help them with their mental health. Because to be in the hand of abductors, criminal elements like kidnappers, Boko Haram, uh, would definitely take a toll on the mental health on these people. And so yes, there's a point where they're given the medical help that is required, the psychosocial support that is required and support to strengthen them so they don't give up on education. I recall when students were abducted in Niger State, even down to the parents saying this is not enough to discourage them 
from sending their children to school. A number of those who were abducted say that they will still continue their education and uh, hoping that there's no reason in the near future with say future attacks to, uh, to discourage them. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't get to that point in time. But also the government has promised that the girls who are still in captivity, particularly the Chibo girls, will be rescued and will be brought back. How soon that is going to happen, no one knows. The one girl who was taken in Dapchi and kept back because of her fate, and still one that is hanging in the balance, and people asking when is she going to be rescued also? Why did the government leave her behind? To, to end our discussion, uh, last week on Wednesday, the uh, Amnesty International published a report on uh, the Chibop abductions. Now, how are Nigerians reacting to, uh, especially the government, reacting to this report? The reaction to the Amnesty International report when we commemorated the seventh year anniversary of the abduction of the Chibop schoolgirls was quite a simple one. The government is saying, that the Chibo girls are not forgotten and that the over 100 girls who are still in the hands of their abductors will be rescued. No timeline is given, no dates beyond what they have said that they are still making effort to have them rescued. So the nation is just waiting to see a miracle happen and hoping that we get not just the Chibo girls but all of the people in the hands of Boko Haram and other criminal elements holding people hostage in the country and most importantly for every single person in the country to see how we can have a safer country, a safer country where students can go to school and parents would have little to worry about, uh, a safer country where you can travel between states and have little concern about being abducted or killed at that place. Efforts are still are being made but Nigerians will tell you more needs to be done. Well, Kimberly Wachuku, a broadcast journalist in Nigeria who is reacting or contributing to the program all the way from Abuja. Thanks for your insights. Well, let's take a short breather and we'll be back.